Hey guys, what's going on? It is Joel from F50 Gaming. Yes, I'm back. I know I haven't uploaded in a week. Don't worry, I'm not dead. And if you wanted me dead, then yeah, haha, -ha, jokes on you. But yep, yeah, I am back. I'm sorry I have not uploaded in such a long time. I've just been so freaking busy with exams. It is my second last year of school, so it's quite important. I've been working hard and I've been studying my freaking ass off. And I just haven't had the time to just play video games or make any videos for you guys and I really apologize but I'm gonna make a video today and I promise you guys I'll also make a video on Friday and that video on Friday will be some Forza 6 demo content so hopefully you guys are looking forward to that but today we are gonna be driving this Peugeot and holy shit it sounds like a spaceship listen to that it sounds like a jet plane or a spaceship or something like that but it's really really cool there's nothing like that like it's the only Peugeot I can say that it actually looks cool. It sounds cool, and it's actually quite fast. It only weighs around about 700 kilograms, and it's got 335 horsepower from an electric motor. And yeah, this thing flies 120. And yeah, this thing just looks so cool. Well, I wouldn't say look. Yeah, it does look cool, but it's just it's just very unique. It's just like like it has a shorter wheelbase at the back than at the front. That's just a bit weird, but hey, it's cool. It is an open top, so it's kind of like a convertible, you can say. Well, it's not a convertible, it's pretty much just a road star. And yeah, you need to pop your helmet on for this car. But yeah, this car is definitely not what you call slow. Handling feels a bit weird, though. You do get a bit of oversteer in the corners, but that's cool. I'm cool with that. But yeah, this thing is just really cool. It sounds awesome as well. It just sounds like a spaceship. It's just freaking awesome. But yeah, this, this car, I think, was from the RPM Velocity DLC, and I forgot... I absolutely forgot to make a video on it, and it's actually free, you can pick this thing up for zero cents, and yeah, you can pretty much, you can pretty much pick it up and just freaking throw it around, no, but yeah, I like the dials, look at the dials on that thing, it's just like, it's like a bat, this thing is like a Batmobile, just look at the freaking steering wheel, it's just like, that is Batmobile 101 right there, but yeah, th this thing, it's just really cool, it's really fast. This thing is a whole lot more interesting than a lot of Lambos and Ferraris I've driven in this game. It's just a very interesting, weird, unique car, you could say. But, yeah, we're going to do a time trial, and then we're going to do a race in Scotland. And, yeah, let's see how this thing, let's see how this thing competes with other cars. I think this is in the sports, I think it's in the performance class. So yeah, this thing will probably go up with like Dodgers, BMWs, all those type of cars. Maybe a few Ferraris, maybe like an F430 or an FF or something like that. But yeah, this thing is quick as I said before. It's just awesome. It's a really fun car to handle. And yeah, it's just a really cool car and it's made by Peugeot. So it's probably one of the most surprising cars to call cool. But yeah, we are heading up towards the end of the time trial. And yeah, we're going to be doing the race, so the race will be pretty cool. It's going to be pretty interesting to see, um, because the race I'm choosing has quite a lot of straights. And yeah, as you know, electric cars, are not really, they don't really have the highest top speed. This thing probably tops out at around about 148, 150. But yeah, as I said, this thing is really quick, it's really cool. And yeah, let's move on to the race. Alright, let's see what this little rocket ship can do in a race. Now we just overtook freaking charges and challenges like that. This thing is really quick. I have to say this thing is probably quicker than a Caterham because the Caterham weighs ra raise roughly the same and it has a bit less horsepower. So this thing's probably faster than a damn Caterham. But yeah, this thing this thing makes the BMW M5 look freaking ginormous. I know the M5 is a big car in the first place, but it just makes it look like a freaking truck. And yeah, we just overtook it very freaking easily. We've got a Ferrari FF. The Ferrari FF is also a pretty big car, but this thing makes that look like a freaking truck. As I said before, everything's looking like a truck on this track, except for this thing. Because this thing is a freaking little mean quick rocket, and I love it. I'm freaking in love with this thing. It's freaking awesome. And just look at that. The Alfa Romeo 4C is known as quite a small car. And look, this thing just makes it look like a freaking... It makes it look like a freaking M6. That's how that's how tiny this thing is. And just listen to that. That one speed freaking gearbox just sounds incredible. Like I'm not a huge fan of electric cars, but but this thing sounds freaking incredible. 
But yeah, we're going to overtake some Mercedes here. A Beamer M4 right there. And we are in first place at only... We're at we're first place at halfway through the race, which is pretty cool. So all we need to do is just hold our ground. What's bad is that the last 40% of this race is mainly just straights. And the, this thing isn't really that good on straights in terms of top speed. Because as I said before, electric cars don't really have the highest top speed in the world. I don't know why, but they just don't. But yeah, 150, like 145 is pretty good for an electric car. I think that's faster than the top speed of a Tesla Model S, which is pretty impressive for like a small, it's a go-kart pretty much. You can call it a go-kart, but I think the BMW M5 is going to overtake us here. Oh, that's an M4 actually. No, you bully. That's freaking bullshit. Get out of my way. But yeah, this thing's handling is just freaking unique. Like, I have not experienced handling like this from any other car. And seeing that steering wheel just... That just makes me giggle every freaking time I see that. That's just crazy. That's just a crazy freaking steering wheel. And, yeah. But, yeah, basically we've got 10% left. This thing's done freaking awesome. This car would have to be in my top 10 favorite cars in this game. Because it's just surprised me so much. I thought since it's going to be Peugeot, it's going to be shit. So, this thing really surprised me. I freaking love this thing. It's crazy. It's awesome. And yeah, it's just a quick little freaking awesome machine. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. Please like and subscribe and share if you want to. That'll be greatly appreciated. And make sure to check out my Forza 6 demo gameplay on Friday. That's going to be freaking awesome. And yeah, have a nice day, guys.